Okay, so the new firmware adds support for mode ID requirements in the United States, ability to detect abnormal attitude and brake automatically when aircraft aircraft turns sharply at high speed. With an altitude of more than five meters in manual mode, ability to cancel countdown for low, uh, low battery turn home by pressing brake buttons, support for aircraft video at 4K30, 2.7K30, 1080p30, uh, when uses goggles 2, 2.7 120 with 1080p 120 are also available. Added ability to transfer data from the aircraft storage to the micro SD card, settings, camera, and the goggles menu to use this function. Added ability to set sharpness and noise reduction parameters, camera, advanced camera. Uh, improved decent like to 10 bit, provide more possibilities for post processing, optimi optimize flight stability in some scenarios, optimize the video transmission, fluency, and broadcast. And then the goggles added support for use with DJI FPV Air unit module, support for canvas mode when using FPV Air module, uh, following 27, 120, 1080p 120, 4K 30, 2.7K 30, 1080p 30, ability to transfer data from aircraft internal storage to install the SD card when using the VADA. Ability to configure sharpness and noise, reduction value, display channel information on LED dot matrix display, and optimize some interface prompts. All right, so here we see the remote ID error. Um, this is after the today's firmware update on 12-8-2022. If we go into status, remote ID error, unable to take off, connect goggles to DJI fly app. Uh, to contain goggles location, flying without broadcasting required remote ID messages may violate local violation regulations. I didn't realize that remote ID was even implemented yet. So why is why is that a thing? Oops, let me go back. So let me go into settings about see aircraft firmware 01.02.000. Uh, Remote control firmware didn't change. Goggles firmware 1.0.1.030. 1. 0. 1. 1. And I went through all the settings and I can't find anywhere to turn that remote ID thing off. So uh, it looks like for some reason remote ID is active on the Avada and the only way to get rid of it is to connect your phone to it. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Sorry, I'm fiddling around with the cable here. So this is what we're going to have to do now to fly the Avada, it looks like. You're going to have to have your phone strapped to your head also. So now I have the Avada plugged in, and you can see no uh, remote ID error. So I'll go back to status. Remote ID functionality normal. So I'll go ahead, let me unplug my phone, my phone cable, and boom, rem remote ID error. And it will not, the engines will not, the motors will not start up. So, yeah, uh, it looks like remote ID is here for the Avada anyway. Ah, bummer. How am I going to strap this damn thing to my head? <laughs> Oh my God! They're gonna. Have, I guess they're gonna. Uh, they're gonna be a bunch of new uh, things on Amazon, so you can strap these, strap your uh, smartphone to your head. Well, anyway, guys, it's Brad from Strike the Drone. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye.